I'm exploring the beach. It's so beautifully sandy. I can't believe this water, look. It's actually not that cold. But it is lovely. I'm in the Scottish Sea. This is the Sound of Geiger. And the water is crystal clear. It's just so lovely. It's quite shallow actually, really gently shelving. I reckon I could walk out for about 500 metres and I'd only be up to my waist. Amazing beach. So, how's your lunch, Alan? Really nice. What did you have? Hey, with mussel popcorn and curry sauce. Ooh, delish. Yeah, really good. Really good. Mine was a chicken and haggis risotto with crispy skin from the chicken. I'm going to taste mine now. Right, there's a bee buzzing around my head as we speak, and it's making me feel really nervous. <laughs> We're in Atchimore Gardens on the Isle of Gear, and they are really surprising and um, and amazingly attractive. Um, they're, they're full of unique varieties of rhododendron and peacocks. Apparently a peacock, um, quite loud. <laughs> and they have bamboo, and they have... Uh, rainforest plants and it, it, it's some there's, there's a microclimate here which means that they can grow a whole range of plants that you wouldn't normally associate with this far north. We're being bathed in beautiful sunshine. We're in the wall garden aren't we and it's a real sun trap. We're just sitting relaxing. Yeah it's amazing. Enjoying our time. Really worth a visit if you ever you know ever get to, to it, gear. Yeah if it, where are we? Ardmin, Ardminish Bay? Yeah. Ardminish, Ardminish Bay. Bay. We took a mooring buoy in the bay and um, came ashore in the dinghy. There's a nice landing pontoon here so you can easily get ashore. Um, and that made it a quick walk actually. It was about 20 minutes to walk up here. And then you could easily while away hours in here, especially in the sunshine, just relaxing, bringing a picnic. It's just beautiful. Yeah. Can we have a look around? Yeah. Will it follow me around? Oh, I don't know. It's like a drone. <laughs> I think the drone might do a better job. I'll probably get the plants in This might this. be a little bit scary. Sorry, folks. <laughs> We've managed to find the peacock. He's in the tree. See if you can spot him. Took us a while to find him. We are now at the top of the gardens and there is a spectacular view from here. And what's really lovely is that you get to, to see both coasts. So the island behind us is Islay, very famous whiskey island. And then as we sort of pan round, we do our famous 360, not falling over too much. It's difficult, there's difficult. a lot of tree roots. A lot of tree roots. <laughs> you should be able to see behind us the coast that we're actually um, moored on. Moored on. So, we're more on the east coast, and uh, uh, the uh, Isle is on the, the west side of, uh, of Gear. Absolutely stunning place. Fantastic gardens, well worth a visit if you get the chance. And if not, look them up on, online, because I'm sure there's loads of really amazing information about the microclimate and the type of plants that they manage to grow here. We're walking along this wooded track, and it opened up to all these beautiful flowers, but the scent filling the air is so sweet. It smells wonderful. And then it opens out onto this huge pond. It looks like it's filled with lily pads, but it's too early for them to have really opened up yet. They're lovely flowers, aren't they? Yeah, lovely. Amazing. Lots of benches here, aren't there, to just stop and take it in. All right, here we are. This is the uh, walkway onto the um, sort of boarding pontoon, if you like. But the water by the side is just crystal clear. It's amazing. It feels like a bit of a tropical paradise today. It 
just because it's so warm and the waters are so clear. Um, you can see Seagull in the shot there, see if you can pick out which one she is. Heading for the dinghy and going back on board. We're thinking about trying to head to a beach to fly a drone. Well, we got up this morning in uh, Ardvinish Bay and it was cold. Oh, you could see your breath on board this morning. Um, I rushed to get dressed to try and keep warm. But then um, we looked at the weather forecast and we could see the sun was gonna come out, which it is now, it's beautiful. And decided that it was gonna be coming in from a south easterly direction or southerly. Now in Ardvinish Bay, that means that you're going to get a lot of wash coming up onto the bay itself so the boy's going to end up quite uncomfortable especially if it gets to a force five or some strong gusts so we decided to leave at about 11 o'clock this morning and head back in the direction of Crewe Haven so we're sailing up the sound of Jura and then into Loch Melfort and at the top of Loch Melfort there's a smaller lock um, I can't think what it's called, but there's Kimmelford, which is a little village in Kimmelford Yacht Haven. So we're hoping to get up there and take a boy there for tonight. That should tuck us away from any south or well, southerly or southeasterly winds and give us a really comfortable night. Well, we've just arrived in Kimmelford Yacht Haven. We had a fantastic sail from Gear to here. Um, beautiful sunshine all the way, really wonderful. We've come here to hide from a southerly to southeasterly force five wind, which in gear would have been really horribly uncomfortable. So we thought it would be a good idea to protect ourselves. We're up a lock, I think this is Loch Malfoot, but we're right at the end. And there's lots of really big hills around us to shelter us from the wind, particularly from the south, which is over that way. Um, so it's made it a really nice spot for mooring. So we came in here and moored up and hopefully we'll have a good night's sleep. So today we're in Kimmelford Yacht Haven. Um, we decided to clear, go ashore in the dinghy and we have come to Catch a Carrot. Catch a Carrot is a vegan restaurant and we've had a fantastic lunch, which we can show you. And there's the menu and I'll be showing you. We're just about to sample tea and cakes. While our food has arrived, this is my beetroot and chocolate vegan cake. And I've got a nice cup of Earl Grey tea to go with it. <laughs> I'm not sure what Alan ordered. This is Polish apple. Polish apple? An apple so. tart thing? Mm. Oh, oh right, yeah. okay. Really moist. And moist and mm, delicious. delicious. Yay! Um, our plan for tomorrow is to um, get up and have a delicious cooked breakfast because it's Saturday and then we're going to go round to back round to Crewe Crewe Haven, um, Haven Yacht Club and uh, uh, we've got to fix the tender again unfortunately either the old patch has not worked or we've got a new hole so we've got to get the boat uh, get the tender out onto a pontoon and try and fix it again 
and uh, Sunday is going to be a lovely hot day. It's going to be 19 degrees, so that should be hot enough for, to, for the glue to set. So we've really liked this little bay, but um, we need a pontoon next. We're in Crewe Haven Marina again this evening. Um, we've spent all day working pretty hard trying to see if our alternator is working okay. Our batteries um, don't seem to be charging the way we think they should. So we spent a lot of hours with all the boat emptied out and trying really hard to figure out what is going on. Uh, we're making some progress, uh, but we think there still might be things wrong in the system. Hopefully, um, we have made some improvements so it will hold its charge longer, so we can stay out longer on moorings or at anchor. We've woken up this morning and the weather is absolutely stunning. So Alan is really busy making a full cooked breakfast, only his favourite meal of the day. Absolutely more. And we've decided that we're going to eat in the cockpit because there are blue skies, the water is still, and it's just lovely today. So why not enjoy the view and have breakfast outside? We cannot believe we're just sat in the cockpit eating breakfast and this helicopter's just come in. We thought, wow, that looks really low. And it basically landed on the edge of the marina. <laughs> Look at all that dust. That is a way to arrive at your boat. Just to put in perspective my bit of a shot, this is where we're sat eating breakfast. <laughs> and Alan just enjoyed watching that helicopter come in and land basically while he's eating his cooked breakfast. He said it was incredible watching it come across the water. I, on the other end, was dashing for the camera. I'm also thinking I have a new way that I want to arrive at the boat. Yeah, I think you've got ideas above your station, Smith. <laughs> <laughs> So the helicopter's arrived, van pulled up, family got out, loaded up the van, and now the helicopter's getting ready to take off. This is the way to arrive at your boat. He's a brave man. Up the dust they did when they came in, aren't they? Perhaps they moved it all already. <laughs> oh, that's better. Coming out backwards. <laughs> <laughs> 